Okay, this is another basic tutorial for Twitter and we're talking a little bit about the bio field. The bio field is really important because Twitter uses the words you use in here um, in their search function. So you need to make sure that your keywords for your business, your app, your product are in this bio. I have a whole document on how to create a social bio and that's in the Learning Center as a document but as something in a quick little nutshell is that this bio you have 160 characters to put all of your keywords and some interesting thing that would make someone want to follow you after reading it. I just put in iOS app developer for the Boomer Geek, apps that make sense for productivity for the Apple iPhone, iPad, and Mac user. And that that's going to show up in my bio. I'm going to show you in a minute. And also this location field will show up next to my bio with my web address that I've put here. So if we go ahead and save this and then go to the profile in just a second, we'll go look at the Movie Calendar 2's profile. You'll see where that shows up. There's my Twitter name, my username, my bio. Right here is the location field and then my website. And if we go to someone else's account, I'll show you how this looks in someone else's account here. This is my real Twitter account. And the interesting thing about this is that they moved the location in the new design. It used to show up here right next to the username to right below the bio field. But it's still a space where you can put things. And for this account, I put inside the internet. But again, this is built for an actual geolocation, but you don't have to use it for a geolocation. Now, let's say um, we have found this person and we'd like to follow this person on uh, Twitter. Then when you go to their account, you can click the follow button right here. And now you're following them. So that when you go home, back to your account, now you'll see tweets from that user. And an interesting thing is Twitter now has this thing where you can open and close a tweet. If a tweet has interesting media in it, it will open it up and uh, show you if there's a photo or anything like that. So for example, let's go see if we can find one with a photo. Uh, let's go see. All right, so this one has view photo. So if you actually open up this tweet, you can see the photo inside the Twitter space. You can also see who's retweeted it. And the nice thing about that is let's say we are looking at who's retweeting this information because obviously they're going to be important to connect with on Twitter. If I click her name, I can follow her right from here. Now notice this drop down here. Um, we're going to talk about this in advanced strategy, but you can put this person on a Twitter list, which would be very helpful, or remove them from her list. So that's another quick little thing that you can do. And on to the next tutorial, which will be about designing the background image for your Twitter account.